Hello, this is Sausage Fingers, and welcome to DaVinci Resolve 16 Crash Fix. Crashes on render, simply shuts down the program, but it's still running in the background. I have to control, alt, delete, out of DaVinci to then get it back up and running. Out of 10 renders, I got one successful render until I did this. There are four steps. Step one is go down into Device Manager. Device Manager. Open it up, open display adapters. This is only if you've got two graphics cards. Shut down your built-in graphics card. The screen will go black. It's not doing it any harm. For some reason, it was defaulting back to the rubbish graphics card. So that's step one. If you haven't got two graphics cards, don't worry about that. You don't have to do it. Step two is go into file. Go, no, go into DaVinci Resolve, go into Preferences, go User, go UI Settings. Now, one of these will be ticks. I think it's Stop Renders When a Frame or Clip Cannot Be Processed, or that one, Stop Playback. Untick them and save it. I don't have to because I've already done it. That is basically shutting Resolve down when it can't process a frame. Step two, now step three, go into file. After you've changed it to MP4 or whatever you're recording in and all that malarkey, go to file. Come down here. Render speed by default will be set to maximum. I have an i7 4790e and it's running at 3.9 gigahertz and I still have to turn mine down to 75. This will not reduce the, sp the quality of your render. It will just reduce the speed. It will take longer to render. The, thus henceforth reducing the load on your system mm, yes now that is step three step four is updates during renders will be set to minimal by default turn that off and what that does is this screen when you're rendering flicks through the different frames that turns that off so you will just have a black screen or whatever screen it's on at the time that you start rendering that screen for instance said all that in one breath now as you can see, I've got a 20 minute video here and it took one hour and 26. And the reason it did that, it kept crashing at a specific frame that it couldn't process. It hung up for nearly 40 minutes on that frame once I'd applied these changes, but it did not crash. It kind of just hung there for ages. I thought it had crashed. I thought I'll leave it, went and had dinner, come back and it was done. I haven't had a crash since. I've done 20 renders since and I haven't had a crash. I hope this helps. If it does, let me know. If it doesn't, let me know. Because if it doesn't, I can look for another fix and help the people of the internet land. Mm. If you like the video, give us a like and a subscribe. I shall see you very soon. Laters.